really strong win, but to come back after that 11 1 start, at 11 1, I guess deficit must have been really happy with that. Yeah, I mean, I thought we were a little uh, nervous and anxious to really, you know, attack. And um, they just needed a deep breath. And, you know, we had a few good looks, but we weren't really overly sharp. And, and they were very sharp right in the beginning. But we just needed to take a deep breath and, and, and get back to what we were been talking about for the last weeks of how we should be playing. And um, I thought they were really consistent across the board. I thought our defense was very solid for um, most of the game. And our shot selection was really, really good uh, for most of the game, too. So. Um, really, obviously happy to, to get a win in this building. Um, but again, it, it's, it's still a long way to go here with a lot of uh, tough games ahead of us. And we'll see if we can build some momentum out of this. I know everyone's important, but was that an important win just to potentially get a bit of confidence back within the group? Yeah, I think like anything else, you know, winning and losing is contagious at times. And I think confidence is a huge thing just in sports in general. And um, when you have it, it's a wonderful thing. And when you start to lose uh, that a little bit, um, you can waver. Um, the good news is with this group, even though they're we're probably not as confident as they'd like to be, uh, they work. They show up every single day. They're the same group every time they come in the building. Uh, they're all about doing the right things. Um, and, you know, I'm really happy for them, more importantly, that they got a, a game like this across the board against, a, you know, an outstanding team. Um, they deserved it. You know, we, we've been fighting like hell uh, the last couple of weeks. And um, to have some things click over and, and get a win in our building, a uh, really good sign for us. You mentioned the defense. I thought the physicality of it all was good. It's been all year. So obviously with Max, I thought the work of that and Tom when they came in yeah. were really also really impressive. Yeah, I thought across the board, our guys were, you know, relatively solid in some of those areas and, you know, continue to work on that end of the floor. And our defense is um, slightly getting better here and there for the most part. Um, and we obviously had a very nice offensive night. So uh, just a really good job. Marcus was fantastic in his minutes out there, double double. And um, um, just everyone, Drimmage chips, you know, chips in. And Milt, you know, doesn't, you know, take a lot of shots or do anything. But, you know, he's just moving the ball correctly and making the right plays and not forcing shots. And, those are things that are what winning basketball is about. And I think sometimes uh, when you're losing, everyone wants to do more, uh, when actually you probably have to just do a little bit less and just stay in your sweet spot and let the game come to you. To go through such a tough game last week with the, with the double OT to, to come out and be so, I guess, balanced on offense and yeah. defense, that must be a real positive to take into the next game. Yeah, I mean, again, it's, it's a confidence builder. doesn't mean that we've um, you know, moved the needle. We still have to, uh, we still have a lot of work ahead of us, still a lot of tough games. And um, it's right in front of us. And uh, I think five left. and. We'll just see how we go here, but it, it's obviously quite helpful to win a game like this against a team like this. Well, Jordan and Jack, especially not stood up, especially after that, that I guess the, the start from Mel when they really came out with, with a point of proof. Yeah, I think both of them were, were fantastic. But I, like I said, across the board, everyone that came to the game, Clint Steiner plays 14 minutes and is just solid um, shooting the shots that he should shoot. And Marcus comes in and, and tag teams with Mags. And Mags only plays nine minutes, but man, it was a huge uh, seven or eight minutes in a row for him that you know helped us defensively push that lead out. and. Just everyone chipping in. Fab in there. Tom gets his first minutes really on the floor uh, in a win. So those are all confidence builders. They're all positives. And um, we'll just continue to try to you know, ride this wave and see if we can get uh, some good work in before we head to New Zealand. I guess how pleased was it to, to be back um, on the winners list? Oh, it's always great to, to win a game. But I think the one thing Coach has always told us is just stay together. Stick together is the one thing we hear before every practice. And that's what we try to do each day is just stick together and tick each, uh, each box as we go. To come out, as I said before, to come out after that, that start from Melbourne, to, to turn that around and swing the momentum back in your favor for the majority of that game must be a really pleasing sign. Yeah, I think the one thing is our team doesn't get rattled no matter what the position is. We stay on the route we're supposed to be on, and we just keep doing the right things. The physicality I mentioned as well, but all the bigs tonight really, really came out with a presence. How, I guess, fun is it to play with Mags now he's back and, and Tom and Fab? It's great to have all of our bigs back and kind of in the groove right now. Um, and we can throw anybody in, and we feel totally comfortable doing it. So we didn't go like that against the latter leaders that have been on top all year. I guess it just it shows that this competition's not leaving. And you guys, a lot of talk in the last few weeks about you know your form, but to still be sitting third on the ladder, it shows you you're still really in with a shot at this title. Um, I think right now the standing doesn't matter. We're trying to tick uh, our boxes off each day and just try to get better. Because when that day comes, we want to be on our, our right form. Scott, the win was impressive, but there was a social media video floating around earlier of a half-court shot <laughs> that shoot around with a bit of backwards cap and you can't see me actually if you're talking through that one. Well, it's what I do at the end of the day. <laughs> it's what uh, I do. I just disappoint players uh, when they think they're going to have a chance to win some some cash at the half-court shots. And last year, I broke a lot of hearts. And 
it's just one of those things, you know, it's just a thing at the end of the day, and uh, I'm, I'm really quite good at it. And um, to knock Jack off uh, in that particular scenario there was beautiful, and the hat behind and all that stuff is just the swag, so and it's all good. I have no response to that. <laughs> Uh, no, I had one early in the year, uh, but um, I usually get hot at the end of the season, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to start cooking here shortly and break some hearts. Marcus, did you enjoy the battle against your former team and especially getting a win over them? Yeah, it's always great playing against an X team. You know, you, you know all those players. You get to uh, bond with them, but it's always great to get a win in general. And we're just trying to get to that next step right now, and can't really worry about who we're playing against. Your your combination with with Will in that five spot it has the potential to be the best best combination in the league, and you're now both probably playing your best basketball of the season. I imagine your practices against each other are pretty. For sure. The first thing we say to each other before each game is we're the best bigs in the league, uh, best combo bigs in the league. And it starts with practice, you know. We go at each other. We're trying to make each other better. We're not taking any days off. So every day is a battle with us uh, in practice. Did the team get a boost when Scott re during the week? I mean, just knowing that the coaching you missed for a long time, does that... Does that do anything for the playing group? Be careful. <laughs> I mean, it's always great to have a coach that's solidified. And for um, a coach that's done that gr many great things in that little amount of time uh, in a place, it's undeniable the things that he's done. So it's great to have a coach uh, here for a long time. Scott, after a couple of losses recently, you've talked about how if you want to do anything this season, the group needs to get back to playing with your identity. You did that tonight. Are you pretty confident that you can, can keep it going? Well, I'm confident that, uh, you know, um, our work is there every single day. You know, the game results are going to be obviously different from game to game. And I'd love to say we're just going to steamroll this the rest of the way out there. But the league is just too good. There's just too many good teams, too many good players. And you have to just stay on point. And um, we've been in a lot of close battles, and we haven't got a few of those across the line. But hopefully this is a little bit of a momentum um, for us. But ultimately, we're going into New Zealand, and they've always given us problems. And they're tough and physical and well coached. So. Um, I, I hope that we're uh, going to trend that way, but ultimately uh, it starts again with us back on Monday and going to practice and doing the work and just staying together. And again, these guys have been um, incredible. Uh, you know, my two years here and this year, uh, the players I have here, uh, they just don't bitch and moan. They just do their jobs. They show up every day. They represent the state. They defend the island every single day. Uh, whether we're up or down, it's the same group, and um, it's always a joy to come into practice to see these guys because they're just they're just doing the right things, and it's a unique situation that I'm quite proud of. Thank you very much, Marcus. Marcus, how uh, good is it to play in Pride Round and celebrate the diversity and inclusion that this club celebrates? Um, like I said before uh, this game, I think it's a great thing that NBL uh, does things like this. Um, I think the biggest thing is um, having respect for all, and I think it's a great step forward. Yeah, pretty much sums it up. Thanks, 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 thanks guys.